Skull and Freud is real and legit, and it is beyond just your own happiness uh, of the Vikings being 5-1. and one. Watching the downfall of your rivals is just so beautiful. And, and just taking pleasure in it. And, and I know we get a lot of comments. Packers fans are just like, oh, 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 why are you so obsessed with uh, Rodgers and the Packers? Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're telling me that when the Vikings were just an absolute clown show, whether it's Red McCombs ownership, whether it's a little love boat, whether it's Shank in the Bank, whether it's Brett Favre, you're telling me that you, Packer fans, never had a thought about the Vikings. Okay, BS, absolute BS. One of the best things about sports is the rivalries. And beyond the success of your own team, watching just the decaying uh, of your rival, it's just so beautiful, man. So beautiful. The Packers, three and four, slip and fall, they can't get up. They've lost three in a row to the Giants, the Jets uh, at home, as well as the Commies and Taylor Heineke. And, you know, Rodgers came into the season and said, hey, I just got paid. I got 50 million bucks. I'm going to prove that I can do it without Devontae Adams, like when Tom Brady won that Super Bowl down in Tampa without Belichick. How are things going now? But all, all the plans, like, oh, he, he got that weird ass Illuminati tattoo, came in looking like Cameron Pro. Put the bunny back in the box. All, all this stuff is like, oh, everything's a laugh. Everything's a joke. Everything's a good time. But then week one happened. And smack that all on the floor, Akon style. And then. The Jets happen. Well, the Giants happen. And then the Jets happen. And then the commies happen. All, all that stuff just leaves Rodgers just like, like like a little chihuahua, just like piddling all over the floor. That hits close to home. And he's calling out his teammates. Again. Uh, again. Like, he has not been shy about just putting his, uh, like calling out his teammates on the carpet. He got young receivers all over the place, uh, all that stuff. He was on McAfee, and he said this, quote, Guys who are making too many mistakes shouldn't be playing. Got to start cutting some reps, end quote. So basically what it's saying is that the Packers should bench him. It should be Jordan Love time. Jordan Love should just be like, I'm just stretching my arm. But it's a clear calling out of the young receivers. Christian Watson, looking at Romeo Dubs, etc. But, okay. Okay, like, does he really think this is going to work? Like, are, are... is he well like guys like Randall Cobb, you know, the corpse of Randall Cobb who's been with him forever, maybe veterans like Sammy Watkins, sure, maybe they're like, all right, all right, yeah, maybe we'll get our stuff together. But if you're a young player on this team, like if you're Christian Watson or Romeo Dubs or whoever, uh, or uh, you know, Amari Rogers, you look at you looking at Aaron Rodgers, you're like, Shh, okay, boomer, shut your face, shut your cram your pie hole. Like, you're one of the reasons why we're struggling here as well. Because you can't throw the ball through a piss-soaked paper bag. You're making bad decisions. We didn't convert on any third downs. It isn't all on us. Hmm. Did you think about that? And also one of Rodgers' former receivers, Greg Jennings, who we do not recognize his tenure here with the Vikings. Just wasn't very good. Uh, but Carmen Vitale uh, tweeted this out. Former Packers wide receiver Greg Jennings on Rogers comments. Rogers comments today on McAfee. Quote, you can't do this. You can't sit down on a show and start talking about who should and shouldn't be playing because of mental errors. End quote. And Greg is right. Jennings is right on this. This is a conversation that you have in-house. You don't go on you know, national media with McAfee and just uh, air out your grievances for clicks and all this stuff. And for You know that he's doing this because he loves the attention. And this is coming from someone who loves attention. So uh, this is a conversation that a, a true veteran leader uh, w- would have in-house. Talking to the receivers, working with them uh, after practice, work, uh, grinding extra film, helping them get better as opposed to, ah, you know, you know, guy, guys got to step up. Otherwise, they're going to be cutting reps. Who's going to take those reps? Sammy Watkins before he gets injured again? Please, please. So it's it's just beautiful. Like, you know that he's just missing Devonta Adams. And also, here's the kicker on this. So the Packers have lost three in a row. They're going up to Buffalo. They're going to lose four in a row. They're going to Detroit where, I mean, Detroit's a mess right now. But at Detroit is not a gimme as evidence as we saw last year. So, could the Packers lose five in a row and go go? All right, so say say they beat the Lions, sure, whatever. And then they got they're hosting the Cowboys. Cowboys starting to get rolling. They're hosting Tennessee on a short week. Tennessee is starting to get their ish together. Maybe they'll trade for a receiver at the trade deadline. Then they're at Philly and Chicago is certainly not a gimme. Chicago, I mean that's that really is their Super Bowl. So is it possible that the Packers go into the bye week just like dropping all these games? 
I, I think it's certainly possible because they can end up what, what, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could they end up four, nine, heading into the bye? I, I think it's possible. I think it's certainly possible. Uh, oh, what's their best case scenario? Five and eight? Probably. Uh, so they're saying that they beat the Lions and, and the Bears. I mean, they're going to be substantial underdogs at Buffalo. They're probably even going to be home dogs against Dallas. Uh, and also, they're probably, well, it's going to be a toss-up with Tennessee, and they're certainly going to be dogs at Philly. So, I love it. I, I, I love it, man. J just like all of this. Just all of this. Just all of this. Like, your time is going to come. And it's right now. That's right, man. Uh, beer thoughts are thoughts. A, a Ron Rogers back at again, just calling out his teammates again in public just ridiculous uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes once to put the work put a little something in the venmo but to next time skull production value